Hello and welcome everybody. I hope that you're all good and you join me for the start of the World Championships event. And we've already got two research stars to go and check now. The one you want to chase apparently is Catch 7 Pokemon. That's going to give you the Osaka themed World Championship Pikachu. That's the chase. It's in one star raids as well. But these other ones, there's a power up Pokemon 10 times for a Galarian Zigzagoon. Okay, I might leave those alone. Shundo potential is always from Quest. And this is five power ups. If my phone's not going to freeze, uh, Sfeel. Okay, again, Shundo potential, Sableye. The spawns are interesting. They're obviously battle GBL themed, but there are some good ones, even if you're not a PvP -er like myself. So, Machop, great for XL. It's trade to evolve fighting type Pokemon. Of course, it's got a shadow variant as well. You've also got Drillbur in the wild, very usable Pokemon, not just in the Master League but also as a raid attacker, and it has a fantastic shiny too. The other spawn, Sableye, has a Mega, of course, and um, there are a few more, but the key thing is that Scraggy is backwards behind me. So let's retrace our steps, shall we? Because that's the new shiny, apart from the world's Pikachu. Scraggy shiny has finally made its way to Pokemon Go. I'm just genuinely gonna have a little bit of a quest hunt. If the raids actually decide to appear, we'll chase them a little bit. Three hearts with your buddies, not an event task. There's also timed research that we have to do, which does keep, it does give you an elite fast TM, I'm pretty sure, so I will chuck my level 1s into GBL for that. There's the Scraggy. Check! Not a shiny. All the spawns are good for GBL, so very best of luck. Let me know in the comments below, are you chasing anything specific? Have you got the world's Pikachu yet? It is here for about five days, this event. It's a quick one, and it's sandwiched around Froakie Community Day, which of course we're going to be playing with Ian Waterfall and Cricket 23 in Regent's Park, which I'm very much looking forward to. Also on Monday, I'm flying to America. Wooloo's around as well, so I need XLs. So let's not, not getting run over. The first of our five daily remotes today is going to be burnt with Christian. Thank you so much. It's a Pikachu raid invite. Obviously, we're gunning for that thing. There is the new Pokemon in tier threes, which we'll try and find ourselves. I think it's Passimian or something along those lines. It's like the, I guess it's the counterpart of the duo between Oranguru. We're using Mega Rayquaza to uh, take down this Pikachu and it's got a funky little t-shirt on it as you can see. It'd be great to pick this shiny up. It took me a long time last year to get the world's Pikachu and I don't think that's a hundo. Is this one going to be easy to pick up? compared to the one from Worlds London. Ah, oh, it's not shiny, unfortunately, but it is the male. It's a nice little t-shirt, actually. I really rate the design. Five remotes a day. We cannot, like last year, go balls to the wall on the remote raids, which is a real shame, considering it's now nearly quarter past 11 and there are no level ones in sight here. After a bit of time, we finally found two Pikachu quests. So 402's the hundo, that's not shiny and a very poor stats, unfortunately. The one from Christian from that raid invite was a 96, so which is nice. Another female, not a shiny, and under 400 CP. But we found out that Trader Pokemon is the new Pokemon for Simeon. She managed to just pick up a shiny Sableye. First shiny of the event and 312 CP in the wild. To be honest, PvP, I know that you want to get the Purify one, which I'm not sure is possible at the moment. This is the one star, but... It's a shiny for the event. We have just done a Wooloo trade randomly with Lewis, and we've got three trader Pokemon to us that are the new Pokemon per Simeon. 1300 CP is the 100% IV you're gonna need. 1266. We're gonna stack them until the last one. Let's go through and check those IVs. 1292, that might be worth you catching. I'm gonna playing Pokemon Violet and seeing this around in the one of the biome areas. So nice to see this in Pokemon Go. I didn't know it was a Gen 6 or whatever it is. Seven. Okay, it's a seven. <laughs> Gen seven into the decks. Right next to a Ranguru because it's the counterpart basically to it, which is really nice to see it in the game. And this is the 93% to start off with. IV check. 1275 is a bit meh. Look, Walpole Park is the Pikachu. So we're gonna do it. Walpole Park Pikachu Dunzo. We had a couple of people in there, including JT Valor. I think that's a little bit higher than the 530 something we had from Christian. So but thanks Sue, Charlie Lucy, Wolfpack were in there. Jing, not shiny. It's a male. 533. Okay. I want more raids. Just put Pikachu in raids for three for five days. Oh and of course this thing doesn't catch. Come on, get in the ball. Just give us Pikachu in one star raids for like however long the five days the event is out. The golden Raz excellent and it breaks out. Are you for real? There we go. Stay in the book. What's the fuss all about, Pika? And it's a 98. 
Oh, we were so close. 2023 Worlds Pikachu. If we could pick up a Honda, I'd be very pleased with that. Hondo is the goal. I didn't get the Hondo from Worlds in London last year. Right, we've got three more Passimian checks. And while we do them and see if we can get a Hondo, we need to say something is that the Pikachu quest rate seems appalling from what I can see. I've been out for nearly two hours. 1300, have we just got a Hondo? Oh my God, have we just got a Hondo of the new Pokemon? Sorry. <laughs> We'll go back to the Pikachu quest in a bit. From what I got told by Lewis, this should be the 100%er. If we've just got the new Pokemon as a hundo, literally five checks in, that's insane. Come on, don't, don't tell me. Oh my God, yes. No way, Passimian 100%er. I would love to get it level 50 in best body. We might put it on the list right now. That's sick. Come on, throw a like on the video and subscribe if you are new, if you haven't done so already. I would appreciate the support. Oh my days. Right, we just need to try and find some more for XL candy for trades. This one, 1270, we'll pick you up a bit later. But going back to the point, the Pikachu, not only are the raid rates really bad from here, we've got a couple of level one spawning, but I can see about 20 plus gyms from this area. And there's like a handful of raids around so the pikachus are not spawning on the raids enough in my view for five day event and the quests i've been around checked everything in this area i need to go check lamas but all around there the whole broadway that whole area up there everything three three pikachu tasks and that is it good luck getting a shiny is all i can say but what i was going to do is begin doing a route and see if we could do the zygarde cell because i had somebody asking i got multiple zygarde cells on the route i did with brandon tarn if you haven't gone seen that video where we show how not to lose your cell right at the end of your route three cells on that route can you pick up more after that or is it going to mean that if you get three cells on one route you're capped thank you lincoln i think this is my second remoted Pika, what we're doing our route and oh that's right at the bottom not right at the bottom of the scale but some way worse than the 98 we got from singapore come on singaporean shiny yeah. not shiny god damn it i'm waiting having started screen recording for it to say you've had your route paused even though you didn't ask for it <sighs> we're over seven years in the game and pikachu's still one of the most annoying things to catch are you serious? A golden Raz? Excellent throw. And it said, nah, what Shundo legend or Hundo legendary are you? <laughs> it's just a what? Composure. That's what I always say when catching legendaries. Great throws usually provide better service. Okay, what? This stupid Pikachu. I'm gobsmacked. <laughs> just hit pause on my route as per normal as per the last video so let's see zygarde how many zygarde we're on five currently so let's see how many we get if we get one at all will we get one this time around it's not always guaranteed of course but you sort of have to loiter around oh yeah thank you there it is see it's popped in again and it would have despawned before but oh a zygarde cell was appearing so that should mean it's a single one yeah just the one one thing we do have to do though before we go any further is complete the time the research or limited research we get an elite fast tm pretty decent reward and an encounter with the world pika that's not good iv unfortunately okay this is a new route this is one of the newer ones i managed to get put into the game which is our golden lure route around here and as you can see actually pause the route right at the end again in exactly the same place another zygarde cell a single one this time again that trick is proving very effective if we actually if we resume the route route resumed and then we just stumble forwards and it auto completes it's a new medal we've got another singaporean invite lincoln 516 damn not gonna be 100 percent but of course it needs to be the tanned the tanned pikachu Sorry, that was from Bimblewick, but actually Lincoln was in there as well. <laughs> Fantastic. Yo! Not a shiny. This one caught no problem. Pikachu, I don't get you, man. Uh, and I'm waiting for my roots to be paused. But let's jump into the raid, shall we? It's a free pass. Might as well try. It's in eggs. So it might be one in 64 or so. In the midst of doing the route, thanks to Edinburgh666 on the Patreon members, this is my fourth remote raid for the day. 
Pikachu's not shiny. 514 as well, that's very mid-tier. Thanks for, uh, genuinely, anybody who sends me an invite for the Pikachu over the next five days, thank you so much. Catch first ball, and we've still got a little bit more of the Hyperloop to do before we can check for our Zygod set again. All I will say is actually, if you're out and about walking, drop an incense. Not only does Scraggy seem to come off incense a lot, which obviously is a new shiny, you can pop an incense while listening to the Incensed Podcast and episode 131 should be dropping on Froki Community Day for you all to enjoy and then the week after we've got a New York special we've recorded then on August the 27th we'll have our live show we recorded at the London Go Fest dropping so there's a lot of great podcast content coming your way peeps okay I've hit pause on the third route of the day and I'm going to call it the cell will be in exactly the same place as the other two expect it to be sandwiched somewhere between the Sable and the Whooper if we're going to get one but remember, because we paused the route, we can't also complete it, which is a saving grace. There you go. I literally said where it was going to be. It's right there. Oh, if we can actually tap the bloody thing. Did we get it? We did. We got one Zygarde cell sucked into the cube. A single one. I think that's our three for the limit of the day hit. That's honestly the best way to make sure you never lose a Zygarde cell. About 60 to 70 meters away from completing the route, if you haven't found one on the route already, pause the route, walk to the end point and see if it's gonna spawn right there because that would have been three cells for the day lost. And this should be route completed. There we go, ticked off. Now we have to go to Lammas and find the Pikachu task if there are any. Oh, I've got to really hope that that's gonna be a Pikachu in the shopping center because that's another Scraggy and it's like Mega Gyarados session. No thanks. <laughs> well, thankfully, we've actually got a Pikachu raid that's appeared, and it's the first in nearly three hours. Over the whole of this area of West London, I've consulted Campfire, and there's been nothing around Pikachu raid-wise within, I would say, the 45-minute walking distance requirement, which, given that the raid spawned for 45 minutes, is not really brilliant. But the other bit of bad news is I've just scouted the entire of what you can see on the map with Pokestops there. Maybe not quite as far as down there yet. Not a single Pikachu task. I don't understand what Niantic are doing. Seriously, it's like, go out and explore. I'm sorry, you're not gonna get me going out and exploring to go and hunt Alolan Executor quests. I will hunt the Pikachu quests, I will get out for that. It's a five day event and they're not providing them. And it's the same with the raids. And this would be fine if we didn't have a remote raid limit, but because you put five in place, the remote raid game is dead. So you do your five a day and you're done. I genuinely don't get the incentive. They're like, go out and explore, but they don't provide what's there in the event. Let's go, local Pikachu raid. Only the second I've found the entire day. Five people in, couple of patrons, couple of friends. Let's see what we can get. I'll have to try again tomorrow, but Ah, 504. Sadly, not a good IV one. Not even on the ball. That you that could bode well. That could bode well. Damn it. Okay, it's a male this time and not a shiny. So, honestly, let me know in the comments below if you've managed to get this exclusive Pikachu as a shiny already. To finish up today's video, I've got a hatch two eggs task, which this season or this month, I'm pretty sure is still Pikachu. Question is, will it have the Osaka shirt? No, it doesn't. That's very interesting. Nor the Hatch 2 Eggs task, because it's a regular Pokemon. Regular Pikachu. We're going to wrap up today's adventure here. So if you haven't done so already, please smash the like button and subscribe. If you are new, I would greatly appreciate your support. Now, this is very much an event of, I'd say, two halves, really. On the one hand, shiny Scraggy. The spawns seem pretty decent. They're not too bad. Particularly if you drop an incense. I've seen a lot of Scraggy today, which is good. However, the biggest gripe I have, as you probably heard already in the video, is the Pikachus. I've changed checked probably over a hundred quests in my area here and seen three Pikachu tasks. That's it. And I think that's pretty shocking. It may just be the fact that it's a bad day. So we'll check again tomorrow. And when we're in America in New Jersey, Monday and Tuesday, we'll have a little grind as well and see if we can find some more quests. The raid spawn itself is shockingly bad. Five hours of the event and there've been a grand total of three Pikachu raids across all of these gyms. And if you expand it, we've checked campfire, but the problem is, You've got to be on campfire almost constantly in the hope of finding a Pikachu raid that is 45 minutes walk away. And I know you could say, jump on the bus, do this. No offense, I'm not gonna but jump on public transport, jump in on for Pikachus. Particularly when there's one raid, you gotta go and, if there was a bunch of them and you could do a raid route, fine. But the fact that you've gotta do a bus to a Pikachu and then bus it back to a completely different side of the borough, that's stupid. So Niantic have really dropped the ball in my view on this one, considering the event is only five days long. Let me know in the comments below, of course, if you agree or disagree, but we can 
cannot end the video without saying thank you so much to everybody who is a fantastic Patreon member. Everyone on the rolling credits there who takes the support up to the next level, including some fresh people from the GoFest in London. Thank you so much for joining the Patreon. Um, I wouldn't be able to continue doing the content, the live streams on the go, and particularly the travel, especially New York GoFest in less than two weeks without the help of all of those fabulous people. So thank you very much. We've got Froki Community Day. We're live streaming the very first hour of it, hopefully without too many signal problems from Regent's Park, and we'll have a video up on Sunday night. Monday morning begins the travels to America. I'm there for about 10 days and I cannot wait for New York GoFest. It's going to be absolutely insane. So make sure to follow me on socials, the links of which are in the description. Instagram, X, previously known as Twitter. Follow me on there for constant updates and I'll be trying to post to the community tab as well. And we'll have some mega streams coming from the New York area as well. We're going to be live streaming a spotlight hour for stuff. We'll be live streaming the raid hour for Xerneas with Sue and the New Jersey crew. And of course we have three live streams for New York GoFest. One for the park on the afternoon on Friday and then Saturday and Sunday city experience. But I'll be releasing times for those at a very near future date. But until the next time, until Sunday, I will say do take care.